The arena at TD Palace in Ottawa was the venue as Canada hosted Great Britain. The two nations have only met once previously, Great Britain winning in 1967. Both sides were missing key players as Andy Murray and Milos Raonic were unavailable after their respective Australian Open campaigns. Dan Evans installed as Great Britain number one after he cracked the top 50 for the first time. He took on 17-year-old Denis Shapovalov. Evans full of confidence. He took the first set 6-3. The second set won by the same margin. And Evans wrapped up a straight sets victory in under two hours. The first time he's won a world group live rubber. Three sets to lock, six, three, six, three, six, four. Next on court, Kyle Edmund took on Vasek Pospisil and gifted Canada their first set of the tiebreak after a string of untimely errors. The world number 47 battled hard in the second set. But Pospisil was in fine form. Another break, and he went on to take a two sets to love lead in impressive style. Edmund dug deep in the third set, but Pospisil stood firm to seal his first win over a top 50 player since Wimbledon 2015. Nothing to separate the two nations at the end of day one. With no Andy Murray, Dom Inglot got a chance to partner Jamie Murray in the doubles. They took on Daniel Nestor and Pospisil. The British pair saved a set point and then went on to take it themselves. Nestor and Pospisil were fired up for the second set. They broke in the first game. The second set also decided on a tie-break. The match level with no breaks in the third, a tie-break once again. Britain back in the ascendancy. The momentum was now with the British pair as they took a crucial break of serve in the fourth set. Inglot served out for the win after three hours and eight minutes. Great Britain just one win away from the quarterfinals. Pospisil was back for his third match in three days against the British number one, Dan Evans. And despite a slow start, he gained the upper hand in the first set tiebreak. Three breaks of serve were traded in the second set before Pospisil finally held his to stretch his lead to two sets. Evans gritted his teeth and dug deep to take the third set. He pushed the fourth set to a tie-break, but Pospisil was a man on a mission. And that left Karl Edmund and 17-year-old Denis Shapovalov to determine who would advance to the quarter-finals. And it was Britain who struck first. Edmund converting to take the first set, 6-3. The world number 47 was back in fine form. Another break of serve in the second set. He was in full control. Another race, and he was two sets to love up. Edmund eyed another early break in the third set before a bizarre incident. Shapovalov unintentionally but in frustration, firing a ball straight into umpire Arno Gabas's face. Consequently, Shapovalov was defaulted and Britain were awarded the point and the tie, so they advanced to face France in the quarter-finals. 6-3, default. So sorry,